Hello all, today, today we are going to show how we can replicate Hyper-V machines to Azure in a process called Azure Site Recovery. Uh, we'll start by making the uh, recovery vault. This is a, service, a recovery services vault. We create a new recovery services vault. Okay, in my resource group. Okay, this is West Europe because it's the uh, <coughs> best region uh, to make it for our region. Okay, you can add tags here and then you can create. It won't take much time. Okay, we go to the resource. <clears throat> okay, now enable site recovery. Here we have Hyper-V machines to Azure. We should prepare the infrastructure. Okay. <clears throat> Deploying plant completed. Okay, you can choose here if you already <coughs> have the deployment planner installed on in your environment or not. Okay, let's say we have done it. Next. Are you using VMM? No, we are not using VMM. Hyper-V site. We didn't add the Hyper-V site, so we need to add the Hyper-V site. We create here, let's say, uh, this site. Okay. We will go to the, through the process step by step. Creating a site, then a host. Okay, this is the Hyper-V server. Please add a server to the site. Okay, add a Hyper-V server. Here you need to download the, <coughs> download the installer and download the key. Now we are going to take this link to the server we are going to deploy in it. Also, we are going through the process, this process step by step. Okay, this is the Azure site recovery. Provider installation. Okay. In this step, you are <coughs> you are uh, registering the Hyper-V server to the Azure portal. Okay. Microsoft update next installation location. Okay. This setup will install the agents, recovery provider agent, and the recovery service agent. After installing these agents, we are going to <coughs> register the server. Okay, now it's installing Azure Site Recovery Provider. Now continue to register. Now we press register. Okay, in this step, you need a key. Key file, it's, it's right here. Download the vault registration key, download. Okay, you take this key. Paste. Okay, it's on the desktop. It's 29th March. Now you can see <coughs> it took the credentials. Connect directly. I don't have a proxy here. Next. Okay, now it's registering the 
server. Okay, I, I uh, deleted the old old key. Well, this setup will take around five minutes to finish. All the setup. Okay, now the server is registered in the Azure site, Azure site recovery pool. You press finish, and you go back to the portal. Okay. Let's see in the infrastructure if I was to set it. Okay, now it's connected. Okay, let's go back to the prepare infrastructure. Next, no VMM. Okay, the Hyper-V site and the host. <clears throat> okay, these found seven compatible Azure virtual machines are found in this version. Okay, next. We don't have a application policy, we need to create, to create a one. Let's say we need policy, cup frequency every five minutes or five seconds. Recovery point retention is every two hours, and here the consistent uh, app consistent snapshot. This will take every uh, two app consistent uh, two snapshots every one hour. If you put it here two, it will take only one snapshot. This number, the number of snapshots depends on this one. Let's say if it's four, and this two, it will take two snapshots. So I put it one here and one here. And immediate. Now it creates policy, and, as, uh, and we need to associate the policy with the <coughs> with the site. Okay, associating. Okay, now the policy is associated and here we prepare the infrastructure. In the next step, we'll show you how to replicate start replication of a virtual machine. Okay, now we'll start by replicating a virtual machine. We'll go to recovery vault, replicated items, replicate. Hyper-V uh, machines to Azure. Okay. <coughs> Here we need to create a storage account. Also a virtual network. Or you can choose to configure later. Okay, now it found the virtual machine on the host. Application settings. If you have two disks, you need to check which one is the operating system disk. Here's the policy. And now we are enabling the application. <coughs> According to the connection, it will take some time. And it will start the initial replication on the host of the selected VM. Okay, now it's enabling the application and it will start the initial application. Okay, now it's successful. 
needs some time. And here you can see that you know it's not synchronized yet, it needs some time. <clears throat> Come back when the VM is fully repeated. Okay, the replication finished. It's finished now. You can see that's healthy and protected. As you can see, here we have a warning. So click on the machine, and we need to make <coughs> a test failover. So we create the test failover. The test failover is, is, is creating a machine like the one on premise but it, uh, it has the same specs the same disk the same information also if we create it on the same virtual network that is connected to the on-prem it will make a duplicate uh, to make a conflict okay now it's recommended that for a test failover we use a network different from production network here production network this is the on-prem network or the, the, the virtual network that is connected to the production network. Because on the domain name server, it will take the IP from this machine. Now we're creating the test field over. As you can see, it will create a virtual machine called xtest-test. -test. Okay, the test fail over now is complete. We will go to the virtual machines and we will see that it's a X test dash test. As you can see now, we can connect on this machine and we can add it inside, but it's only a test machine. Now we go to the recovery vault again. This step is recommended because you need to see if the machine is starting up and working normally. Okay, you go here. As you can see here, clean up test fail over pending. You go to the setting and clean up test fail over mode. Tested okay. Test is complete and press okay. Now it's cleaning up the failover. And the next step, we will make a live failover or planned failover so that we can see that the on-prem machine will be turned off and the Azure virtual machine will be on. <coughs> okay, it worked. Now, as you can see, it's healthy and healthy and no warnings again. 